Crown Prince Moulay Hassan of Morocco is under a lot of stress. I mean, stress of having to spend his $1 billion fortune faster than any other prince in the world. People say that the prince is worth about $1.5 billion, even more. Money comes from his family. So where do you live if you're both a billionaire and a member of the royal family? The Rabat Royal Palace is where the prince and his family live. It was built in the 18th century and is still a home that the richest people in the country would be proud to live in. The walls are made of gold and have beautiful designs and bright colors that make the homes of other heads of state look dull. White House, I'm looking at you. These designs were influenced by both French formal styles and Arabic designs. That includes large gardens that wind through the estate. Not only is it a beautiful place, but it's also a big tourist draw. With tens of thousands of people coming to see it and, more importantly, spending money there every year. It's no wonder that the place's official name translates to the Palace of Happiness. How could you not be happy growing up in such a beautiful piece of architecture? During some of the most important times in Morocco's history, like World War II, the birth of King Hassan II, and the wedding of King Muhammad VI, the palace has been a safe haven. It has stayed strong and beautiful throughout everything. The palace serves more than just a place for the royal family to live. It has rooms for the Moroccan Royal Guard, a college royale where senior members of the royal family go to school, a cooking school, and a huge library built for Hassan II's huge collection of books and manuscripts. Why would you get another house when this one is so beautiful and has a lot of history? That is a hard combination to find in a home. People know that the prince has a large collection of old cars. Many of these wonderful cars have been in the same family for a long time. These cars have been passed down from generation to generation as beautiful heirlooms that fit the royal status of their owners. His 1957 Mercedes-Benz 300 SL Roadster, for example, is worth more than a million dollars. This car was actually given to the family by the famous driver Joseph F. Werkel, who drove it to Morocco in the 1950s. Since this car is a real icon, many serious car fans have picked it up and passed it on. People like Tony Curtis, Justin Trudeau, Pablo Picasso, and Paul Newman are among these people. That is definitely one of the coolest groups of people to be a part of. The 1969 Ferrari 365 GT, which is worth a few hundred thousand dollars, is my favorite. This car has everything that makes a Ferrari a Ferrari. It has a classic design that is simple, elegant, and looks like it was made for speed. It also performs well, with a top speed of 150 miles per hour. If I were a very rich prince, this is the Ferrari I would want. The family's fully restored 1939 BMW 32728 Cabriolet is also worth a few hundred thousand. This is another very rare thing that the family has found. It is one of only 482 cars ever made, and it is a true classic that belongs in the royal garage. There should be at least one Lamborghini in every collection. Yes, I did say that. Well, these royals don't let anyone down, because they have a 1976 Lamborghini Rocco P300. This classic beauty of a car is worth a lot more than $100,000. People think of it as a real mechanical masterpiece, so that might be a good deal. I'm learning here that I was really born into the wrong family. If you want to be one of the most powerful and fashionable princes in the world, you have to fly in a private jet. Well, don't worry folks, because even by the ridiculously high standards that the rich and powerful have for private jets, his jet does not fall short. He gets around in one of the nicest private planes that have ever flown. Jet Gulfstream G650, just by itself, is worth a lot of money. His jet costs a whopping $67.4 million. The jet makes that price tag worth it, no doubt about it. It can fly 14,000 kilometers without stopping. It also has a beautiful leather interior that is, as you might expect, classy and professional. 
is the kind of jet a young prince who wants to show the world he's on his way to becoming a big deal would buy. If this jet wasn't already cool enough, he had a cool license plate put on it. Those are the numbers C-N-A-M-H. This word means high or majestic. So, he is only known as Majesty Mulay Hassan, no matter where on earth or in the air he is. There is of course one thing that no prince or pretty much anyone else in the world is likely to have in their jet. That is a way to protect against weapons. The jet has a J-Music missile defense system from Israel. It is one of the best things you can buy to stop a missile. It combines advanced fiber laser technology with its own high-rate thermal camera and a highly dynamic mirror turret. To put it simply, if a heat-seeking missile comes flying at this jet, the music system will make sure that it is quickly found and thrown off course. It is often used on military planes and planes that fly in areas where shoulder-mounted missiles are a big threat. It's not something you usually see on a private jet. He had to pay an extra $20 million to have this thing put in. Safety doesn't come cheap, and now it sounds like Tony Stark might have made this jet. Well, that's probably because it's true. This is exactly the kind of thing you would be able to buy from Stark Industries if it were real. Who wouldn't want to fly one of the best private jets money can buy? Well, that's exactly what this prince had in mind. In fact, he is very interested in flying. He thinks of it as one of his favorite things to do. This is something new for his family. He will go to the prestigious Royal Aeronautical School where he will show that he is the best princely pilot in the world. That's also a big deal because the men of the British royal family have liked to hang out in the clouds for generations. I would love it so much if they all decided to race one day. It would be like Top Gun, but with princes. Who wouldn't want to see that? When a prince goes on vacation, he can't just show up at Disney World or something like that. He has to show everyone how a prince should leave his home. So when he went to the Greek islands on vacation, he took a very special ship. That would be the Serenity, a very nice boat. This is not cheap at all. In fact, it costs a crazy $596 a week to rent this beauty. Definitely that is a crazy price. Still, that price seems to be a good deal. The yacht Serenity is the best place to go on vacation. It is a 72 meter super yacht that has just been fixed up and can be rented for trips in the Mediterranean, the Arabian Gulf, the Red Sea, and other places. It has its own gym and swimming pool, as well as high-end rooms that make this ship almost like a 5-star hotel on the water. So, when you become a billionaire prince, you'll know exactly what yacht to rent. That will save a lot of time. So, with such a lavish way of life, it's only natural to wonder how much money this prince has. Well, it looks like this is a bit of a big deal. The family as a whole is worth $5.7 billion, but that doesn't include all the princes yet. People seem to have different ideas about how much he is worth. Some people would say that he is only worth between $1.5 and $5 million. Many people think that he is worth more like $1.5 million as an individual. Many people think that he actually has a very important title, which would make him the richest kid in the world. That's quite impressive. Even though the royal family of Morocco might seem like a big deal, with a net worth of $43 billion, the royal family of Thailand is the richest in the world. That does put a few billions of a Moroccan family to shame. To you, what is life like to be a prince? Let us know in the comments below. If you liked and enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. For more insightful videos, get notified by clicking the bell button below. From the high-end stories of today, this has been Modern Luxury. As always, we look forward to seeing you again in one of our videos. Thanks for watching.